Okay, hello again. Uh, welcome back. I'm playing Stars World Academy. Um, don't remember what happened last time, to be honest. Um, but yeah, or something about balloons. Uh, we're talking about these these things that got or something. I don't remember. Whatever. Um, let's get going. All those things here at Stars World are some of the best around, but the track team is one of the the more well-known ones. Stars World comes in first place almost every year. Almost every year? Yeah, that's pretty good. I don't know how many schools are competing. Yeah, almost. Usually we win first, but last year we got second place. Still, that's nothing to sneeze at. Well, it's not first, is it? It's, yeah, it's just... Nothing's good but first. Anyway, Stars World reputation just seems to keep growing and growing. That's quite the reputation. Is that why the students always seem to be working so hard? You could say that, but I think they know just how much it means to the school to try and be the best at what we do. they do. If you watch closely, you can see the determination in everyone's faces. They really want to keep the winning streak going. Well, well, they're more dedicated than I would be. Looking at the students running, I can tell Polly's telling the truth. All of them look determined to make it to the end, or do better than they currently are. It's an interesting sight to behold, especially considering even if I had my own goals, they wouldn't be nearly that lofty. Yeah, I'm with I'm with you, Tom, mate. That's just it's ridiculous. Oh ho, watch this. I think she's going to try and beat her record. Oh, okay, sure. Polly points us in the direction of a specific student. It's easy to figure out who she's talking about. That girl's rainbow hair stands out in the crowd, and a nearby coach raises their starting pistol and bang. The girl flies from a starting position. I must admit, I don't think I've ever seen someone move that fast in person before. Only a moment later, she crosses the finish line and the coach just marks her time. Wow, she really moves fast. Oh, well, I wouldn't know because I didn't see it, so yeah. Racing is her life, honestly. I don't think she thinks about anything here other than racing. She kind of has a one-track mind at times. Are you sure that's healthy? I'm not sure that's healthy. Maybe, maybe we should help her out or something. Sounds like the two of them have a lot in common. Oh, looks like she has a moment. Robin, Robbie. Oh, who's this? Polly suddenly yells out, waving her arms frantically. The girl with the rainbow hair notice and jogs over. Okay, hello, rainbow, whatever you, rainbow dash or whatever your name is. Oh, hey, Polly, classes are over for you already. I was so busy training, I didn't even notice. Yep, classes are done for today, but I did find these two new students outside the main building, so I was giving them a tour of stars well. Yeah, she was giving me a, us a very, very nice tour. Thanks, thanks, Polly. The old Polly Parks Grand Tour Deluxe, eh? Huh? It's certainly been a while. Has it? Yep, I think they transferred in just now, too. Tom, Ty, this is Robin Douglas. Hello, Robin. Nice to meet you, Robin. Yeah, hey, what's up? <laughs> so you two are what, third years? No, I'm a fourth year. Why is everyone so surprised? I mean, that's just... I mean, do I look that young? Fourth. Yeah. Oh, you two are nuts. Why are we nuts? Why, why, why are we nuts? I didn't think it was possible to be that lacking of subtlety. Ah, uh, but something about her demeanor just screams that she isn't very a very subtle person to begin with. Oh well, hey, what brings you to Starsville then? Ah, uh, well she got a scholarship or something, so and she dragged me along. Yeah. Well, the academics mostly. Starsville was pretty much my dream school, though I couldn't afford to come here soon. I'm just happy I could make it for my senior year. Uh, I came here for the academics as well. I'm hoping to learn a lot. Tom's such a... So, he's such a downer. He's such a downer. Anyway, I don't think that's entirely a lie, though I'm really not all that interested in learning too much. Yeah. Well, that's cool. If you guys are thinking about joining the track team, though, I'll do it now rather than later. Competition is looking to be pretty tough this year, and we're going to need to get some extra training in if we're going to keep up. Yeah, thanks. But uh, I think I think we'll be both for you, right? Because Tom's, Tom doesn't seem like... Wants to do anything. Yeah, well, thank you, but I'll be alright. Racing isn't exactly my thing. I've probably read more about racing than I have experienced it. Yeah, I don't know if running's what I'd be interested in. I, just, me and Tom, we're like, like, uh, 
twins or something. <laughs> or suit yourselves. Not like it matter too much anyway. I'm planning to go for the very top. I won't stop for anything less. Oh, good on you, Robin. Yeah, thanks, proud. Well, I wish you luck on your goal then. Thanks, I'm gonna head back to training. See you around, Polly. Yeah, see you, Robin. She didn't say goodbye to me. How rude. Rude. Ah, no, she's rude. I'm, I'm not talking to her again. With a quick turn of her heel, she's jogging back to the track and field. It seems her mind really is focused on training. What's up, Polly? She was nice. No, she wasn't. She was rude. Oh yeah, Robbie and me are the bestest of friends. We hang out all the time, if you ever get a chance to. You should get to know her some more. I'll keep that in mind. You know, the tour has certainly been interesting, but I can't help but feel like we're forgetting something. Yeah, we had to go to the uh, headmistress's or headmaster's office thing. Uh, hey Polly, uh, what is it, Ty? As much fun as it's been here, it's been. Are we close to the headmaster's office yet? I don't want us to be running late. Hmm, me too. Not that I really care, but sure. Polly just stands there for a moment, blinking almost absent mindedly at Ty. Polly? Uh, guys? Guys? Oh, silly me. <laughs> what? We went the opposite way of the headmaster's office. Ha ha ha! Why am I not surprised? I don't know. Polly, that's not funny. Sorry about that. I was just having so much fun showing you guys around that I totally forgot why we were doing it in the first place. Oh, that happens. Don't worry about it. Calm down, Ty. Jeez. Ugh, we're gonna be delayed. Oh, don't worry. I promise I'll take you straight there this time. You'll get to your meeting right on time. Thanks, Polly. I, I like Polly. Polly seems nice. With that, Polly begins bounding back towards the main building, leaving a frustrated Ty in her wake. I'm tempted to let out one of my usual quips, but I know that look on Ty's face. One wrong word, and I won't be feeling my arm for a week. She, she can't be that strong, surely. Rather than instigate her wrath, I quickly follow after Polly. Oh, she's gonna beat me to... She's gonna go... Eh, 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 and beat me to death. I don't think so. And I suppose that covers the basic stuff. This way leads to the headmaster Salomon's office. But oh, you guys should really see the cafeteria. It's got tons of great menus and foods. You really should check it out for uh for l uh, what the uh, Holly. It's fine, I don't wanna hear about this cafeteria. It seems like the most interesting thing here. She's still holding her composure for the most part, but I can tell when Ty's on edge. Thank you for the tour. For now we'll just need to see the headmaster. Her voice sounds as strained as she looks. Yeah, look at her. Well, of course, silly, you knew here. That means you should get a lay off the land first. If you don't, you'll lo get lost, or worse, confused. But now you have a basic idea of where everything is. Thanks. Yeah, she does get up close, doesn't she? Holly is suddenly in my face, a grin stretching from ear to ear. I swear I can see her eyes sparkling. So, pretty cool, huh? What you think? It's, uh, it's amazing. What do you think? Well, honestly, it's still too much to take in. It doesn't help that I was just dragged around campus. That didn't make me remember anything. In fact, it just confused me more. So I'm getting the feeling this subtleties of my personal space go right over this girl's head. Yeah, I agree. She, gets, she does get close. Yeah, it's cool. I said that I was cool. <laughs> it wasn't a question, but it came out as one. As invigorating as Polly's spirit is, I think I really need some time away from her right now. Oh, but she's so nice. Tom, you're an idiot. I'm being overwhelmed with everything as it is, and she's really not helping me feel comfortable. And Ty's panic voice doesn't help either. We're gonna be so late. No, we're not, Ty. We're fine. We're fine. My thoughts are bro broken by Ty's yelp. In a flash, she seizes my wrist and yanks me away before I can even react. Her eyes dart between Polly and Ty, trying to figure out at what just happened, Polly just smiles and waves at my hapless body as Ty drags me away. I don't even have a chance to wave back. Alright, we're finally, finally here. Wow, what the heck, Ty? What's the sudden rush? <laughs> it, it wasn't sudden, to be honest. I try to free my wrist, but she's got it in a death hole. For someone who doesn't get much physical exercise, she has a strong grip. Really? Maybe just really weak. Must be a reading hand. <laughs> well, we were supposed to be there five minutes ago. We're not late. That's, that's early. She grumbles at me. 
rumbling something under a breath that I can't quite hear. I decide to let it slide. Five minutes is that all? You need to calm down, Ty. I'm sure she'll understand. Besides, didn't you say you know her? No, they've never met, Tom. Pay attention, mate. She stops and tightens her grip on my wrist for a moment before letting it go and turning to face me. The look on her face tells me I'm about to be scolded. Never face a face. All the more reason to be on time. The headmaster values discipline, discipline and structure, not to mention she's put a lot of faith in me by letting me into this academy. I won't disappoint her on the first day. Man, she's so stuck up. Oh, come on, Ty. If she believes in you so much, she's not going to hold five minutes against you. Sanest thing Tom said all day. Ty takes a short moment to catch her breath and raises her hand to a knock on the door. Before stopping... Before stopping... Her hand then goes up and start, stares, starts straightening her hair and patting down her clothes. I want to comment that she's only playing us further, but something tells me I should keep my mouth shut. Yeah, she keeps fidgeting with every little detail on her uniform. Can we just go on the door, for crying out loud, <laughs> to make sure it's straight and proper? It's actually starting to get on my nerves, yeah. <laughs> me and Tom, we are, we are just the same. Before I have the chance to chew her out for it, a voice drifts through the door ahead of us. You come in, Ty. Ty does the exact opposite, freezing in place like a deer in headlights. My own attentions turn to the door, surprised to be found so easily, but also having to hold back a chuckle at the headmaster's remark. Poor Ty, she can't seem to catch a break today. Oof. I, I struggled through that sentence. <laughs> I'd prefer not to repeat myself. Alright, we're in. Finally. Oh, hello. Aren't you beautiful? Like Ty said. I can't get through the door fast enough. Apparently in sight, she's already stammering and fidgeting. Her inability to rattle off a hundred excuses simultaneously. I don't understand most of what's coming out of her mouth, nor do I think I should really try. It's probably smart, Dom. She is abruptly silenced by the headmaster's raised head. <laughs> Let's take a seat, both of you. As I look around, I can't help but notice how huge Headmaster Salomon's office is. The walls curved in wood like the roof of... Like the top half of eggshell are lined with books that seem to have come from all over the world. Compared to the hallway outside, it's like walking into an auditorium built for one person. I quickly follow Ty to the Headmaster's desk, sitting in one of two ornately decorated chairs in front of him. It's surprisingly comfortable. Oh, just get on with the story. Jeez. I'm so, so, so sorry we're late, Headmaster. We just got caught up. I understand, Ty. And I've told you before, Selena's... Selena is fine. How long have we been talking? I love her hair. That's su that, that hair is wicked. Just saying. It's like sparkly and... Oh, it's just cool. Yes, Headmaster. I'm pretty sure I can hear the Headmaster sigh, sighing. Or maybe it just seems that way from how her shoulders gently sagged. She turns and looks at me. You were Tom, correct? Yeah. I guess that's... yeah. Something tells me that I should probably be quaking in my boots like Ty. After all, Stars Hall is the most prestigious school around, and Selena is at the top. However, looking into her eyes, I can't help but feel comforted. She does seem really nice, doesn't she? Not that I can... you can tell much from just the picture, but sure. She seems to give off a kind of soothing vibe rather than a harsh one. She carries herself less like a principal, more like a mother. Is that how she's going? She's looking at me right now. Yeah, I transferred with Ty. Well, obviously, you fucking idiot. Tom, you're ruining our chances, mate. <laughs> of course. Yeah, fucking idiot. <laughs> with a silent grace, she rises from her chair and walks around to the front of the desk. She places her hand on it for support before leaning up against it. I'm familiar with Ty's reasons for transferring, but I'm afraid I'm not heard anything from you beyond the dry text of this application letter. I do not mean to insult your writing. It was a fine letter. I just prefer to hear things in your own words. Uh, sure. It was probably one of those really generic letters. So, yeah. As soothing as she came off, I definitely sent a shiver down my spine. And of all the things she could have asked, she starts with the one question I do not have an answer to. Chances are she's probably testing my qualifications to even be here. I don't have it, even half the qualifications high has. So if it's, it's as if I can already see my chances of going here slipping away. I thought we were already in. I don't know. I don't, I don't get it. Whatever. Oh well. I suppose it was nice while it lasted. I pull 
work my collar lightly, which seems to some come tight. Tell the truth, Headmaster, I am um, I'm not a hundred percent sure. I know I sounded more certain in the letter, but I was kind of hoping I'd figure that out while I was here. It's not that I don't have any ambition, it's more like I don't know where to aim it. <laughs> That's well, very well done, Tom. Well, it sounded like a good answer to me, yeah, me too. Though I could easily be mistaken. Putting my thoughts into words, though, feels like I'm crashing in a rut. Like I'm stuck in a boat rushing down a turbulent river without a life jacket. You're certainly not alone in that, Tom. Starswell Academy has helped many young men and women like yourself find their calling, and I'm sure I can start you down the path, though I cannot walk it for you. Wow, she's, she's really clued in, isn't she? She's got a star. Is that, is that different? She's got no thing. Oh, whatever. Don't worry. I, as in Headmaster Salomon personally, or is that just how she refers to Starswell Academy? Maybe she, may, she meant to assure me, but I'm filled with more questions than answers. It seemed pretty straightforward to me, Tom. I don't know what she's talking about. The Headmaster picks up some papers and looks through them quickly before turning to Ty. Now my faithful student, I see here you've signed up for the full helping of courses in every subject matter. Really? Math, physics, English, foreign language, what's that, botany? Technology and even philosophy. I do like me some philosophy. Well, this is far too much even for you and quite unnecessary. Do not worry about missing out. There are lighter courses that will continue your education in the subjects you do not choose, but attempting to specialise in everything is impractical and defeats the purpose, purpose of specialisation. I agree. It's not even taking into consideration the fact that you were to a senior. There simply isn't enough time, Ty. I will recommend two or three specialties at most. But what if I... She doesn't know what she wants to do. Finn raises an eyebrow directly at Ty. I sort of do we really need this? Need to have this discussion again, Manor. Almost immediately, Ty falls silent. She's she's strong, but gentle. I wish I knew how to get a Ty Ty to calm down like that. All right, three subjects. Think hard about the subjects you want to specialize in. Once you decide, changing will be difficult. So be sure to pick the classes you know you want to take. All right. Well, this is seemed to drag on, so I think I'll just end this here.